Okay, guys, so we, what we're going to do now is um, add a demo video as well of the workout uh, of each day uh, of, to my YouTube channel. So for the people that haven't got Facebook or are struggling to get into our live classes um, on Zoom, then this is another alternative. So um, basically what we're going to do is going to go over the movements, explain them, demo them, and then, then you can crack on with the workout in your own time okay so hopefully this is um some good content for you so a bit of a long one today i'll go through the whiteboard like we normally do and then i'll demo the movement so we'll go straight to the strength first so the strength is unilateral work um single arm single leg depend on on what the actual movement is but the reps are on per leg or per arm okay so not spread out. Um, yep, we it's, we've got four rounds for the strength, and it's um, it's quite a long, long piece, a uh, long strength piece. Um, the high rep stuff. Like so, I'll, I'll go for it. It's easier if I go for it. So first of all, we've got one Turkish get up. All the again, guys, and I won't say keep saying it, but all the reps are on one side. Okay, one Turkish get up. Then we've got. 10 to 20 pie cups and that depends again on your strength so if you find them really easy then high reps if you struggle a little bit keep the reps low always work off your weaker side whenever we're doing unilateral so you can you can um, match that with your strong side with, without any problems rather than being the other way around um, 10 split squats 5 to 10 kettlebell rows 5 to 10 kettlebell press so again if you find if you haven't got a lot of weight in your house um, then do more reps that's the easiest way to do it then you've got 10 kettlebell remaining deadlifts again if that's 10s too easy then up the rep range okay so we're just guiding you through so um, uh, yeah and then we've got the condition so the condition guys we've got we've got level 4 which is 20 20 down to 1 okay uh, that's plate ground to overhead and one up to 20 burpees onto the plate and i'll go through all these before we start but the level four we're looking for a good stimulus 30 to 40 minutes so if you've got a bit of time spare um then obviously we'll go for that that higher rep range okay level three is 15 down to one on the plate ground to overhead 50 uh, sorry one up to 15 on the burpees onto the plate and that's again that's a little bit quicker so 15 to 25 minute stimulus okay workout level two 10 down to one plate ground to overhead one up to 10 down and ups and you're looking at a 10 to 15 minute workout we've chucked in a level one here for any inexperienced people i don't know why that keeps sliding is it better if I just do that? Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, so level one, five, ten minute workout. If you haven't done any fitness before, you can get on with this one. And it's seven, uh, yes, so seven up to one, sorry, down to one. On the plate ground to overhead and one up to seven on the down and ups okay and i'll give you a version of how we can how you can work through that okay so first of all we go through the warm-up and then I'll, I'll carry on with the strength element that we just talked about okay so warm-up what we've got is two rounds of 10 lunges five scat press-ups five crows so I'm going to move the camera back now. We've seen the whiteboard. And then I'm going to go through what those movements are with you. Make sure we've got enough. Oh, 
Okay guys, so the warm up, we'll look on straight on for the first set. So we've got 10 reps, uh, five each leg, but we're gonna alternate them anyway on the lunges. So you lunge out, make sure that knee stays track and toe, and drive up, out, drive up. If you find lunges too hard, so if you're struggling to get up off the floor, so there, struggling to get up, you have to push on your knee, we want to avoid that at all costs, okay? So if you want to come down to a position where you don't have to do that and stand up, that's great. Um, like I say, don't have to go all the way down, but that's our aim. We should be trying to go down and drive up. So in time, maybe that is something that you, you, you want to sort of aim for. If not, if that's still too hard, what we do is we take a lunge back and step up. Lunge back, step up. Okay, because that's a less force coming through into our knees, okay, into our legs. So it's a little bit easier to control. Again, if you're struggling to get up off the floor, so you're just taking a step back, struggling to get up, okay. On the next one, just come down to a position that you can control, okay. So it doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be perfect as long as we're starting to move and we're starting to build that single leg strength up. That's the aim of the lunges, but also with this part of the warm up, just about getting our legs moving again and getting both legs working at the same um, capacity. Scat press ups, I'll do these on my knees, but if you're strong enough, you can do them on your, on your shoulder uh, in a press up position. So here, nice and straight, fingers are facing forward, arms are locked out, bring my knees back a little bit, I drop my chest down, and then I press up at the top. So I drop the chest down, press up. So down and press through, okay? So the scap you here is coming back, squeezing together, and then I'm straightening it out as much as I can in that upward position, okay? So if it's here, I'll come down, press. So my arms stay straight at all times, okay? So even when I'm going down, my arms are nice and straight. Okay. Um, yeah, so you've got 10 lunges, alternating, five scat press-ups, and then you've got your crows. So your crow, foot stands completely flat on the floor, and you're creating that arch in your foot. Here, grab the floor with your foot, this leg comes up, and we push it back. And we try to keep this shoulder down to stand back up again. So push back, drive through. That's five each leg. What we're looking for is that knee not to come in. It should stay out, keep it out, push. Shoulders are level, and then on standing up. Okay, so that's five each leg. So you're gonna do two rounds of that. So. Two, 10 lunges, five scat press ups, five crows. Next part of your warm up, this is your chance to practice your down up. So if you've never done down ups before, it's basically you're coming down to the floor. Yeah. And then you can either jump and stand up, or you come down to the floor and you come onto your knees and stand up. Again, that can come down onto your knees, to the floor, stand up, or you can jump down, jump, jump up. Okay? That's the other end ups. So you're gonna do five of those, guys. Uh, plate ground to overhead, demo with the plate first. So with the plate, on the plate up like this at all times, okay? I want my thumbs running down the plate. Running down the plate here, my back nice and straight, my chest up. Here, I drive with my legs, and then curl and press above my head. Push the plate into my hips, touch, up. Plate in, touch, drive up. Okay, that's with the plate. Haven't got a plate, but you got a kettlebell, same thing. Thumbs down, here, 
squat a little bit lower up pop through so chest stays proud here up pop through or you can go into your you can go into american swing if you've got enough room there pop through okay so that's your kettlebell or your plate version of it one or the other not both yeah if you haven't got a kettlebell you can do it with a book so just pretend this is a book i'm coming down so those people that are lower levels maybe this is something you should consider with a book up through and just focus on the movement hinging the hips and chest staying high pop through okay so you'll do six of the so you do five down and ups and then six plate or, or kettlebell or book ground to overhead six reps twice through for your warm-up obviously pause the video when you're doing your warm-up you can then you can catch up with what we're doing in the strength so strength so we'll start off guys with Turkish get-ups Turkish get-ups I demo it from the front first so legs are out nice and straight here and whatever side the kettlebell is on I'm just going to jump this lead over whatever side that's on so we're going to start with that kettlebell near our shoulders we're going to right so kettlebells down near our shoulders I lean over now this right knee comes up right hand right knee yeah foot's flat on the floor I roll over and bring that kettlebell up I press I can use both hands now at this position right knees up left leg straight arm is locked out eyes on the kettlebell and it stays on the kettlebell from now on now I think I'm going to come up from this position I want to create a bit of base so this leg comes over the opposite leg comes over my opposite arm comes over then I'll transfer all my weight onto my elbow and onto my left side looking at the kettlebell push up into a nice straight arm flatten this foot down now because it was like that good now keep your eye on kettlebell hips come up slide underneath I'm onto my knee now the weights onto my knee turn and I'm in a nice upright position now, ready to lunge up. Okay, if you look at it from the side, just notice now that that thing's moved again. I'll take that off just for ease. Obviously not working. So from here guys, up, get the balls above my head, lunge back, eyes on the kettlebell now turn this foot in reach down find the floor still got me on the kettlebell slide my leg out to that base position drop my weight onto this side come down completely flat onto the floor okay so key things on these Turkish get ups as the eye stays on the kettlebell we don't let that drift the arm drift away from our body um, the opposite leg always comes out and creates that base for you to lean on otherwise you try to get people to try to sit up straight um, you can do it with a light kettlebell but as soon as it gets heavy it's near on impossible to get up okay haven't got a kettlebell you can do the same with a dumbbell okay just make sure that the dumbbell is in this position and not that okay so you want it in that hammer position so it's more stable for the shoulders and put you under too much strain or do it with a shoe or again a book so there popping through same principles hips up yep okay cool going through the same movement so that's your Turkish get up happy what I do is I'll take I'm going to take this lead off guys because I keep moving the camera around um, 
Yeah. Let it speak on. Should be able to hear me anyway. This is quite a good, quite a good mic. So we'll go for pike up first, nearly forgotten. So feet out and straight, straight out in front of me, and I'm sitting up nice and straight in this position. Okay, what I'm going to do with the pike ups, so it's 10 to 20 reps, um, but some of you might find that you start to get a cramp down your leg, so you might want to stop. Stop if you if you do get that, because it is quite painful or it's quite hard to get rid of. Okay, so upright, one. Two, and then I'm trying not to let my heel touch the floor. Yep, so if you look on it from the side on, here nice and straight, lifting that leg up. This leg stays nice and flat. Okay, and I'm trying to keep my chest up. Some of you might find that you have to lean back a little bit. That makes it easier if we lean back. If you want to make it harder, come into a straddle. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Again, we'll do somewhere between 10 and 20 reps, depending on your um, how easy you find it. Okay, we can't really load that one up, all we can do is add more reps. Yep, cool. Split squat, I do some from the side, okay, and then I turn this, the chair around so you can see it from the front as well. So, from the side. I always like to set up from the bottom it just makes sure that I'm in a good position then so I come back one legs out on the lunge and the other leg is on the chair quite similar to what we do with the couch stretch okay toes are facing forward get the right out in front of you and drive it up back down drive up down okay I'll show you from the front you can see what we're trying to achieve with the knee okay so you set up from the bottom here and I want that knee to stay like we did with the crow staying outside not coming here not coming inside keep good arch of your foot drive up back down Okay. You can do that with a kettlebell or without a kettlebell, or if you're just struggling with the lunges. Even if you're just struggling with the lunges, what we do is just come out, lunge, step back up. Okay, and just do ten lunges. You can do that with the kettlebell. Um, that's if you haven't got a bench or sorry or a chair for you to rest your foot on. So you can do 10 each leg. Okay, cool. Kettlebell rows. So I wanna make sure all this is really important now. Move this camera back a little bit. It's weird because I have it on the, the same Facebook Live distance and it's not the same on this camera anyway so I'm hinging my hips back again like we did with the plate and the warm-up really hinging back and that kettlebell I'm pulling with my elbow behind two three really focused I put a bit more weight on the other side if I want to lean if you look at from the, this side lean through and pull okay just going to even it up most important thing is that my back stays nice and flat I don't round over my back and just pull there or the other one is people sit up really high and do it like that okay you can do a double arm if you've got a heavy kettlebell a double arm there pull through or single arm and you can do that with a kettlebell or a dumbbell okay the press I'll do it kneeling down so you can see the full range so with the press I want to make sure kettlebell handles up near my shoulder 
so it's not here the handles near my shoulder I'm pressing through bringing that elbow in nice and close so I'm not out here nice and close in above the head so and there are five reps so the rows anywhere between five and ten reps on the rows and on the press okay again if you find that you've only got a light weight just do more reps okay just make sure that we're drilling good movement okay last but not least we've got kettlebell deadlift single leg deadlift like you did with a crow but with a kettlebell same arm same leg and we're coming down driving up push this leg back load up drop through so I'm trying to keep my chest nice nice and level my chest out here drive up okay so chest out drive good and that'd be one round so again depending on how much time you've got I think it's taken us to do four rounds this morning it's taken us somewhere about 20 25 minutes so maybe if you you want to get the conditioning in you want to do a longer conditioning piece then just drop the rounds on that okay but make sure the forms there guys uh, don't rush through it okay so keep up yeah so brilliant so going going on to the the cardio now I'll go through that these cowbells back so you've got options 20 down to one and one up to 20 on the on the burpees that's a 30 to 40 minute workout and then level three is 15 uh, down to one plate ground to overhead and one up to 15 burpees onto the plate take so anywhere between 15 and 25 minutes that one or level two 10 down to one on the plate ground to overhead and one up to 10 on the down and ups that's 10 to 15 minute workout or the last one level one seven down to one plate ground to overhead and one up to seven on the down ups so let me just demo those movements for you and then you can decide so plate ground to overhead we're hinging in the hips here thumbs are down like we did like we talked about in the warm-up really keeping my chest really proud and driving up okay hinge back drive up yeah so I'm pushing the plate into my hips to push remind me to push my bum back straighten my arms keep my chest really proud dropping to the floor back straight not rounded here driving up okay and you can do that if you haven't got that you can do swings options are available so you can either do four American swings up hinge pop through or if that's too hard just Russian swings pop through there okay burpees onto the plate chest and thighs touch the floor here up catch both feet land on the plate back through there jump down and ups if they're too difficult for you guys which are possible which is possible so just do normal down and ups what we did there walk down you can walk up there or you can jump down and jump up okay remember we've got options uh, let you just have another look I will post it on the YouTube thing anyway what the workout is um, but yeah that's about it have fun with this one like I said the um, the condition peak the strength is really good for balancing us out getting those single arms uh, single leg sort of stuff that unilateral work really good for injury prevention and start bringing up some of our weaker sides and make make us sort of balanced in strength and the conditioning today the conditioning 
is a mind game. So it's really just grunt work. We're going to get in and you're just going to constantly keep moving. Okay. I like to rep, write the rep range down so I can just mark it off as I go through. All right. Good luck. See you later.